hello everyone i'm back with another video today now today we are going to do something different as sometimes we need to do some drawings for making some vectors so this one i'm going to show you how to create some vectors like as you can see this is a this is a fold f on 150 maybe anyway whatever the model that pickup truck is i needed to make a design for this and that's why i wanted to show this to you guys now this is how you can make some vectors you can see this is a car and i did some line drawings of it if i make the opposite down of the car you can see so this is what i did for the car here i just draw the outlines of it a very rough outline not too much perfectly done but it will just give me that shape so this is how you can make some vectors when necessary now this is just some drawing outlines i am going to I, I already expanded them and then i merged them together but when the line art is done i am going to make a vector from this this is already a vector in line art style but i wanted it to in a fill style so for making a fill style vector i am going to press ctrl c okay let me show my keyboard strokes so i'm going to press ctrl c and then ctrl b for pasting back now i have two copy one is in front one is in back so when it is expanded if i just press if i take go to my pathfinder click on this march and unite it is going to unite this like making it a complete black shape if i change the color it will be visible you can see so that yellow shape we just create with merge and uniting and this black shape is our original shape so if i select this black shape and then press ctrl x to cut it now i have a solid color layer like this so i'm selecting this one then go to transform sorry transparency and open it now press ctrl f that will paste it in front and when it is in black it is going to look like this so if i change the color of my car here something like this so you can see now we have a car that is in fill style not in a stroke style so this is what i wanted to share for this one here now i'm going to make a design with this car vector here this pickup truck now for this one i'm going to use this flag for my yesterday's video i just wanted to create something like a american style so that's why i am using this flag here of course in okay sorry for that right click transform reflect okay so i am selecting these two then if i like align them in the bottom position that is good i want to make it same wide as my track is just like this but not that much high up just a little bit visible on top of my car so if i select this one now go to object path and then offset path i'm going to create some offset path like four or five pixel something like this click ok now ctrl x to cut i'm selecting my these two flag and making them a group ctrl g now if i open my transparency for them i'm pressing ctrl f to paste in front and this is going to paste these track silhouettes in front of my flag and this is looking like this that's good for us let's select out this flag group and i don't want this parts so i'm erasing it simply like this that is good and of course maybe not this one something like this yeah that much is good so this is going to be the center graphic for me here now i just wanted to create a American flag style so that's why I'm using the flag now these are going to be the text format this design I'm going to use something like let's use our that raspberry font from yesterday so this vintage garage this authentic old track maybe I will use this Explorer font here now for this one here I'm going to create a ellipse okay before creating a ellipse i'm going to select my this text go to effect wrap and then arc 
okay guys sorry for that not arc maybe something like arc lower but in negative position something like minus 10 or minus 20 percent that is good i'm making this a bit bigger like this yeah that is good let's just break the font expand the effect here like this and i want to make it same size wide with my design i can i'm pressing ctrl r for my ruler tool now with this two ruler i can simply align my design within this area okay so this is going to be my another text here i'm going to use my effect wrap and the arc option here not this much a little bit something like this yeah that is good let's see if it is fitting inside the area here so i'm going to break my fonts something like this okay that much is good and this is fitting with the curve here that is good let's expand the appearance yeah that is good now for this one here this legendary ride i'm going to make this and my another focus point so let's use our this raspberry solid font here for this legendary i'm just keeping this in this small letter version for this time here for this text here this legendary and then i'm going to use my this right text now for this right one here i'm going to make some effect here like if i take my explorer script font this one is good and then i'm going to break it i want to select my these two text and align them centerwise just like this so that is good now i am going to make it bigger just a little bit that's good let's select our pen tool i'm going to make a source for my text something like this that is good now pressing shift x for converting it into strokes and then pressing shift w for white tool and with this white tool i can make it bigger like this something like this much yeah that is good let's expand it because that's a stroke if i select this two i'm pressing shift m and then pressing alt to delete that part so that is good now i'm selecting this source here the effect that we created just a bit erasing like this now this area is not looking very good so let's select out this right text I'm making a very basic t-shirt design for uh, this one right now because here the main focus was creating the vector and how to create them that kind of simple vector so that's what I wanted to share here now if I select my this legendary text I can place that same offset part of my right text inside and it is going to look like this so that is good okay for this area as there is some gap here i wanted to create some effect here like this custom track custom engine something like this let's use out this raspberry font again but in that capital letter style okay for these two i'm going to select them align them in the left then make them same size bigger so that is good now for this two i am going to make it bigger something like this to fill the area here then this custom engine i am going to use the same font here raspberry and in capital that is good let's break them now if i place them something like this align them in the left then if i make it bigger it is going to look similar so that much is good now i am i need to make sure that these two text are both same size so i am taking a ruler here and then another ruler here i am a little sick today a bit tired so my voice is not maybe sounding regular anyway something like this yeah so as you can see this is how it is looking right now 
now this part is done okay this one I wanted to keep it like that so for this part these two part let's bring the text down a bit just a bit yeah this born to write let's use the font here explorer okay not that script let's use the condensed regular option now with this I don't want to use it but as I typed this one so let's use it somewhere like this that is good now let's take a star tool here to create a star then another star here in a bit a smaller size and then another one here now I'm selecting these three I make sure that align them center and then distribute the space that is good let's group them bring a copy here right click transform reflect just like this then selecting these three align them and distribute the space yeah that is good something like this so as you can see how easily we create a cool looking custom design with our own vector with the vector from a image nothing copyrighted here so that's it guys i hope you will understand or learn something new from this one you can really create a cool looking vector from any image with just a simple outline it just takes some time to make the perfect outline and covering all the details of it but if you can do this perfectly it will look very like the kind of vector style and you can also add some details to the design that's just up to you so that's it guys i hope you learned something new from this one see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone